Don't be afraid, I'm here with you. Yakin Jiken. It's time. Need to get ready for work. For work at the convenience store. Uh, Slept well. We are a college girl in a run-down house. But still some warmth in her heart. And a cute pet toy on her table. Let's get dressed. Change clothes for a job. Okay. It's dark outside. Sure is. I think this is where we want to go. Let's maybe eat before we go to work. Alright. You're gonna warm up. I'm just gonna get ready meanwhile. Gotta bring flashlight and article sometimes. Pick up flashlight. What? Did, what? What? Did, did, did you did, uh, did you see that? That radio just flipped directions. What? Is this intended to be happening? Hello? Okay. <laughs> First weirdness. Noticed. Let's eat. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Well, let's uh, go. Down the stairs. Out of the house. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess we have to just follow the main road here. Down there. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. So let's take... Let's take these stairs, it's... oh, whoops. It actually fell down. Wow. Well, let's take a long uh, way then. Can we just uh, jump on these houses? No. Ah, there are some stairs here. Okay, off we go. Running makes me feel safer. And back to, back to the light, back to the safety of the light. Good. Let's hurry so we don't get sacked. I need the money. I suppose. I don't know. Is healthcare free in Japan? What the heck is... what? Look at this. Why are there these things? Why are there walls all over the place? There's a guy out there. Let's say hi. Why is this thing so bright? How you doing, fella? With your photorealistic face? What is this? Oh, it's just for parking. This is some rusty, nasty car. Anyways, let's talk to his buddy. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. Akamanto? The day of judgment will come. Yeah. Bring me food, or you will receive eternal punishment. Okay, so maybe maybe he's just a whack job. But you know, it's a video game, so we better do what the video game tells us. Oh my goodness, is this bright. This car has its lights on, why is that? Hey, it's a mini from Akamanto. Uh, or Yo no, no, not Akamanto, but Yoko y Yuki Ono? Or Yuki Omo? All right. I remember these from the previous game. There's something I need to go to here. Can't go through here because somebody got slaughtered maybe? No, there's construction work supposedly. There's trash in here, but I guess I'm a bit too early. Let's just go through the front door. Wow, these reflections are crazy. Okay, off we go to the front door to explain why we are late. Oh, dump, steamed dumplings! Ah, yum! And Oden, which I learned of in the enemy Mr. Osomatsu. Mixed gender bathroom. Do we have communism in this country now? This is not a capitalist selection. What's the job? Oh god, you mean good? You made it. Oh no, it's just that I recently ha heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. 
there was an old lady that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Oh, so now we know what kind of monster we're gonna see in this game. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. What? Dude, are you a little broken? What are you waiting for? Punch in! Enter counter? Okay. Do I punch in here? Yep, I guess I do. Uh, what's... where is the punch in? Oh, okay. Yes, punch in. Oh, he's gone. Oh no, I'm all alone now. I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Hey! Hey! Take them off the shelves. Don't leave me here! Come on, man! Oh boy, what? Is that the manager? You look slightly creepy and you have a step sound. You look slightly creepy. But at least your legs are not bent the other way. Why is there a transition for entering this? Okay, I think I can turn off the flashlight. Oh yeah, I thought I would just have to... Hey, are you stealing? You look like a steely boy. Are you gonna pay for this? The shelves looks fine. Sanctu's choice? Hey, I'll give it a try. What do you mean? I'm, I'm on the job. This shelf looks fine, this shelf looks fine, this shelf looks fine. Looks like some are expired. Take items off shelf, yes. Can I give it to the guy? I mean, will the... Will the guy take expired food? Boy, oh boy, this is... What is this? It's so dirty. This is suspicious. Maybe there's a secret entrance. Okay, I'm gonna just dump this off. Let me get behind the counter. Make the transition. Sanitize my hands. Squirt, squirt. Yes? What? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I just scanned his phone. Man, I want some dumplings, please. Anything else in here? No, I don't... Yeah, we read that. Can I play some games? CCTV. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is gonna be not fun. Wow, this, this is some hardcore driving. I feel great about this. So, there was a transition just now. I don't know what caused it. Did I, did I somehow manage to leave? Oh, another car. Good, good. Hey, will you accept this? Give expired food? Man, I don't know. Is this, is this okay? So, like, you, you're happy with that? Or you're gonna do something horrible with that now? Why did that truck just leave? Where are you going? I'm just... I'm just gonna join you, okay? Oh, I cannot leave. I can't actually leave the, the border of these yellow stones. This is kinda mean. Where are you going, buddy? Well, off he goes. I hope he's happy. I hope I did the right thing. So, about that truck, what was that about? Why did it not... Get in. Like, why did nobody leave and get out? Raby carrot juice. Rabies carrot juice? I've been drinking one only that recently. Highly recommended. Who are you talking to? Oh, this thing. The, the carrot juice up there. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Okay, let's see. Uh, thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. And there's a panda that is smoking. Whoa! 
<laughs> that was creepy. Read some manga. Oh, I want the puppy one. Can I, can I read? I mean, I'm on the job. Can I not just read some stuff? I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Great talk. Dot dot dot. Something about this poster. I feel attracted to it. I think this is an ad for another game that's either upcoming or already created. I think she's holding a cupcake that has a face. The puppet, of course, 100% horror material. 13 bucks an hour night shift. This is the reason why I'm here. Okay, let's check more food. Looks like some are exp Oh, let's take it down. So maybe I can just bring it over here. Didn't think so. I guess I'll have to go over here. Cause... Okay. Meaningful transition. Okay, backwards legs. Monster, are you coming now? Heck, I'll just leave those doors open. I don't even care if it's gonna be the end of me. Oh, there was another car. Human contact. Yay. It's a truck. Truck driver. Are you gonna just... Oh, check. That was awesome. He just teleported right out of there. Hey, I'm here. I can take the package. I can take the package. I can take the package. Does he have a... Oh, look at that. He's Black Cat Delivery Service. So cute. Let's get in there and respectfully receive him. This transition is so weird. Hello, Mr. Catman. I will gladly accept your gifts. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. Think this is for you. This is a creepy looking package. What do we say no? Ah, we have to eventually accept it. Take it home? What do you mean take it home? Seriously? Just... Just... Up and leave? Okay. Oh, I can only do it from the other side. Well, I think receiving a package indeed is a reason to leave. Can we... Oh man, this is slow CCTV... Truck is leaving. And... How do I... Oh yeah, right click. Right click to end it all. Not all, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's take it home. What the heck? Well, that was creepy. Unnecessarily creepy. It's a VHS. Who turned on the microwave? I guess it was me to heat up the leftovers. Okay, I'm guessing I cannot leave the house. Can I? I cannot. I guess I can take the flashlight. I'm guessing it's the next day. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Let's... What the heck? It was empty. What is this? Am I still wearing my clothes? I guess I arrived instead of going to work. Okay, good. Let's take the VHS and use it. So the cool thing about this is there is no inventory system about this game. Watch closely. So is this going to be 4 by 3 aspect ratio? Nope, it's HD even. So we have some yellow tape. I'm sorry, was that it? That was it? Okay, do I do I go to work now? I guess so. First night. Oh, do I really have to walk all the way down there? Why is it so super dark? It's much darker than the last night. It's actually insanely dark. Ridiculous. Looks like there was a bug with the game settings. I had to uncheck and check something. 
And now we have the lights back. Okay, we are back at work and there's a truck. There is no homeless guy. And uh, there's the car still. And my goodness, is it bright in here. Well then, how are you? Hey, hey, so I heard you reported that the door would open on their own. What door? Well, we got a guy to check the sensor and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they are all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Are you talking about the toilet seat? That's the only thing that kind of was... Creepy toilet. So while you are still here, don't leave. I'm gonna check for monsters. This door is still open. Hey, there's a rat. And something happened to the trash. Hello, rat. How you doing? What happened here? Rats. At least this yellow tape protects us. Time to clock in. I mean, punch in. Will you please punch in? I will punch your face. Anything got to say? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, what is this? I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. How do I get rid of them? And uh, punch in? Yes. And are the rats the ones that are gonna... He just walked through this. Are they gonna take their revenge? Can I put them in the microwave and feed them to the homeless? Yes, I know. I'm a horrible person. Let's take a look at the rats through CCTV. There's a weirdo out there. Well, okay, okay, never mind. It's a just very slow, to slow walking person. Okay, let's see. Uh, rat, rat. Uh, how do we get rid of rats? My coworker is leaving. This elderly person is slowly approached. Oh, a smile. At least somebody's smiling. Bye, buddy. No, seriously, how do I get rid of rats? Maybe there's some... Oh, I see. <laughs> nice placement of... Uh... Yeah, the rats just sit there and wait for you to come and... Can I duck? One, two... Good to know that I know how many rats exactly are here. Three... And soon... I mean, I'm gonna be punished for this, certainly. This is a game about not not killing rats, right? Okay, to be continued. Hey, lady. Can I interest you in some... Okay, so you're gonna go to the bathroom. That's cool. But can you open... Yeah, you can open the door. Where is the last rat? Oh, hello. Rat number five. And rat number six. Okay, cool. I got rid of the item immediately. And there seems to be another person coming. Or she was leaving. Oh, no, it's a customer. What up? Why? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. Are you insane? This is a freaking self-service thing. Convenience. Convenience for everybody involved. All right, I'm gonna take my time, you dick. Indeed. Sight, go get it yourself. That's what I say. Hey, are you still alive? Why did she mumble it, though? Why didn't she explain the rules? I guess I'm just gonna go on the other side and... Maybe I could get him some milk instead. Okay. Okay, so this is the beer, right? Are you for real? Oh no, I can only... Uh, I can only carry one object at a time. Love this. Here. <laughs> I love this. I guess this is my passive-aggressive way to do this. Here. Here's one can. Here's another can. Am I helpful? I hope you are not, uh, like, losing time. 
This is what you wanted, sir. I'm just trying to do my job, sir. You wanted five cans of beer and one package of schmokes. Jeez. Well, I guess he didn't doesn't realize my passive aggressiveness. Uh, smokes usually are behind the counter. I'm sure this is still the same, the same as true in Japan. Wow, there's one brand, one brand, and only one flavor. Yeah, okay. Have fun with your vaping. At least you said thank you. So do I get another package with another VHS tape today? Pretty sure that's what has to happen. Well, there's still the lady on the bathroom, right? Please be alive, please be al... Okay, thank you. I'm so glad you're still alive. Do you need help? Huh? huh? Where's Ken-kun? You know, where Ken-kun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? What the heck? Um, did you do this, lady? <laughs> this toilet is so freaking creepy. Okay, so this insane lady just talked herself out of having to buy anything for using the toilet. Good job. I'm just gonna wait for Package Man, because I don't think there's anything else to do. You know what the trailer for this game is? It's just a 30 seconds video of somebody looking out of a window while it's raining. It looks very nice. Oh, the door just opened. A ghost just came in. Two ghosts came in. Okay, I guess I have to go and interact with the door. Must be the... The ghost of the dead... Uh, of the daughter of the lady. Okay, this is getting annoying. Ah, I see. I have to use the CCTV probably. Man, some of these pictures are so weirdly scaled. Okay, there's a little boy. Did you see that? Well, that explains everything. There's just some little boy that was playing around that doesn't exist because he's dead. Another package! Wait, what? What's in your hand? There's nothing in your hand. Why are you here? Can I help you, sir? Sweet cat delivery man? Good to see you again. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend of ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Oh, indeed, there is a package. Weird. Give package? No. Give package? No. Give package? No. Give package? Yes. Bye! Can I go home now? What about me? Do I not get a VHS? Man, I totally didn't notice that thing. It's so weird that something had to be picked up here. I don't know what to do now. Second night. This is some annoyingly creepy sound. Well, we are back here. No food heating up. What is this? Uh, oh, it's an umbrella. Do we get the light? Yeah, we get the flashlight. Somebody's knocking on the door, but there's obviously nobody there. I'm glad we don't have to do all these steps like eat, dress. Who's there? Oh. Hello. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Time to watch some TV before I go to work. Okay. Well, there's yellow tape again. I see a tree. I guess I'm inside some building, but it has plants inside. I'm just breathing. This is from the perspective of the filmer. Okay, so I guess it's time to get out and Second night shift. What a slow game. Ah, rain. Friendly rain. 
how calming you are. How much calmer life is with rain. I don't think horror and rain matches very well because of all the noise and Chillus Arts games are very... their horror elements are very much focused on the fact that you get way too loud as a noise when you when the monster is following you. A thing I don't really like. I really don't like that. I, I prefer to mod the games in such a way that the noise is reduced. So nobody's here. What's up with that? Okay, so the umbrella. Okay, we take it out immediately, but when we're back out, it's not it's not returned. So we don't have our umbrella anymore. Yeah, we have a pleasant sound of rain outside. What? What the heck? Boo! I got you good, huh? Okay, okay, fine. I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. You freaking weirdo! What? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video, you creepy creep creep. Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full, that's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. You know what, I'm gonna try to do this while you are still here, because this will calm my nerves. Okay, this needs some more, this needs some more. Can I pick up stuff from the back room yet? Well, this looks clean and safe and all. Hey, what the heck? There's a key. Whatever, it's blue so I can find it. That's very kind of the game developers. Let's close this. Um, I mean, it's gonna be creepy tonight. It's gonna get creepy tonight. Where do I put this? This is all full. Did I tell them about this creepy lady yesterday? I don't think I did. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay, I know the drill. I'm gonna just punch in, as per usual. Yeah. Click, punch. Transition. And he is just walking through the wall. Hard. Core. Any last words? No? Rock on, bro. Also, screw umbrellas, right? Hey, come on. I like how they really simulated the annoyance of these doors. Okay, so let's restock, restock, re what? I can't... I don't get it. Whatever, I'll just drop them on the floor if you insist. Hey, this door should be closed. Check out this light. This light doesn't change. Okay, beer, this stuff, whatever this is, something in here. Oh, come on. No, I'm locked in. What's that? Well, that sucks. What do I do now? Uh, is this intended to be like that? Is it my co- Hello? Who did this? Okay, there's an actual human. Uh-oh, something broke out. Hey, buddy. Uh, coronavirus? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss uh, seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. I'm gonna go with you, buddy, cause this is creeping me out. Also, you are going to die. How do we do this, though? I don't get it. Why don't you... Why don't you use this entrance? Where do I put this? I think this is, belongs here. Restock, restock, re, re, restock. Restocked. These transitions are getting old. So let's see, where did he go? Uh huh. 
Well, there's a key. Why don't I take that? Hey, buddy, how about you join me over here? It's locked. Is this a bicycle? Yeah, it's a bicycle. Can I have a key? Can you turn it off? Whoa, what? Dude, what? Hello? Okay. I can bash him now. Open AC. Hello? What's going on? Okay. Take key. Well, it's time to meet my maker. The door is unlocked. However, my arms my arm goes numb when I try to open it. It feels as though something is grabbing me. I'm assuming something is trying to protect me. Or the opposite. Maybe because I fed the homeless guy? I don't know. I heard something. Okay, let's take this and try to restock. Hello lady, you just scared me. Where do I put this food? Yes. But this food, I don't know where to put it. You alright? Did you just... did you just... Pull it up like you're gonna shoot me with that? Man, I don't know where to put this. 80 grams, it belongs in this kind of row. But it's all full. Whoa, 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 here we go. Okay, can I help you, lady? Oh, good. Phone. Dun, 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 dun. Are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I say you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. This is gonna kill me. I'm gonna die now. So now that I have this, maybe I can... Open the door? You know what she should have done instead? She should have joined me in opening the door in the back. Well... I guess... There's not much I can do now. I have to satisfy my curiosity and meet the... the monster. Here I come with my l a randomly acquired charm. I got a charm for no reason at all. Yep. Okay, so what kind of monster is it gonna be? I can't open it still. Okay, so the charm doesn't work in this kind of way. That's fair. Let's take the long way. Ah, right, right, the package. We gotta wait for the package. I don't know what else to do. I think we're pretty much done. Just gonna sit here and wait for random things to happen and random sounds to play. That's me at the counter waiting for the next customer. I'm pretty sure I did restock everything. Hey, cool, I didn't realize at first that you can move the zoomed camera. What was that? Did the toilet... Ah, the toilet is doing the thing now. Yes, yes, toilet. Everything is going to... Heck. Oh, what? There's water too? Uh, am I locked in again? I'm locked in again. This is annoying. Yes. And now there's glitches. 
And now this happened. There's a mess. Somebody took the pills. Somebody took the cat food. Oh, it's maybe it's a cat monster or something. And somebody's typing on the computer. It sounded like that. Ha! Huh. Nice. Well, scary person, what now? Like, what do I do now? Seriously, what do I do now? All right, I guess I do what I can do and just leave this place and go into the back and get killed. Creepity creep, creepity creep. Let's open the door. I can't open it. Let me clean this up. Hey, I want to clean up the cat food spill. Man, it doesn't let me. Oh, I guess I have to interact with this stuff. Yeah, okay, so we have these talismans. Let's pick them up. These slow transitions are so weird. So weird. What do we do with the talismans? We can put them on the door. We could put them on the door. We could put them on the store. We could put them on the wall so that everybody can see them all. We can mail them to my mom. Maybe she has a ROM. We can put them in the ramen or slice bread with them. And I don't know, let's go to the creepy door because that's the only thing that we really need to focus on, I think. I think, even. This is super slow. Exercise the door, yes. Oh shoot. It said red four and there's a corpse. What about the four? Manager. Doors close now. His eyes bleed. Has he been sending the cassettes? Why is this taped together? There's rats in here. There's more cassettes. Somebody's banging the door. There's some screaming. Well, this took a turn. Did he just move? Yeah, he did. Yes, I gotta admit I'm a bit scared. Third night. How did I get here? Okay, I will not ask any questions. So, apparently I am alive. There's a VHS tape. Let's freaking watch it. Right, so there's a shed. The rat shed with a bike. Excuse me, I have been in there. I saw a dead man. Or maybe, maybe not dead. So why are you showing me this? What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Let's hope so. I really wish, I really wish there would be still rain, but nope. Nope, we gotta do this all over again. And as per usual, we cannot take this path. Hate it. Oh man. You know what would be annoying if they started to put monsters in the town rather than giving me this secured safe zone where I can just walk to work without fear of being stalked. But Remember how this game in the first episode, or whatever to call it, the first night, told me that somebody fell off a bridge? I think that's gonna be my end. Okay, here we are. Is my coworker here? No. What? Did he, did he hide again?
Well, I can't wait to see what horrors await. Hello? No, he's not in there. There's nothing there. There's nothing I can't even take in. Okay, let's check the TV. CCTV, that is. Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing going on. Absolutely nothing going on. Okay, I'm just gonna have to walk around until something happens, I suppose. Oh, oh, hello. There's huge rusty nails on the floor now. And there's TVs all over the place. Turn it on, yes. Is that the quest? I gotta turn them all on. Oh, also the barrier is gone and I cannot get in here. Oh, I can get in here. Can I take a look at the camera now? Now that everything is creepy? I see the nails. I see a little boy. Where are you going? To the bathroom? No, you're just going in circles. Okay, so let's see. Maybe he interacts with a certain TV. And now he's here. Oh. He seems to be interested in a certain TV. Okay, and yeah, it looks like this is a loop. Okay, let's get out of here and try to... Oh, no, no. He's, he, he saw another one. Did, did he? I think he looked at another one. There he is, and he's looking at it. And now he's here. And he's looking to his right. Aha, so here he's looking at something, the one alone at the top. The one at the top, right? Probably that one. Yeah. And the cycle continues. So I'm not even sure it's the one at the bottom. Maybe it's this one. Definitely this one. Definitely this one. But as for here and this row, I'm not certain. And here he's looking down. Yeah, I think it's the one in the, the second one from the end. This is a very unpleasant puzzle. Well, there we have it. Four TVs. Okay, so this is off. I cannot use the CCTV anymore. Why is that? All right. I don't even know if this was open earlier. Oh, boy. Hello. What now? Looks like I'm trying to save a boy. That seems like an honorable goal. This door is open, so I guess I should go here. It's light time again. Huh. There's a VHS cassette. Oh, I guess I might have skipped something. I'm not sure. Let's hope I didn't. <sighs> time to watch some more. Why, why can I enter? What? What? I don't get it. So I could put the cassette in here, right? Send it off to someone else? No. Trash it? No. We're gonna watch it. We wanna help the boy. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so somebody is filming me from the outside, from the balcony. I guess this is the end. I saw something. Okay. I would like to have a flashlight, please. But I think I'm sleep paralyzed now. Cannot move.
I... I can't move. Huh. What do you know? I was right about that. Now they're gonna take me off and throw me off a bridge, I think. Oh, a ghostly creature. Hello. So yeah, we get uh, spooked by a creature just like in uh, one of these awesome faith scenes while we sleep. And sleep paralysis is a topic, so I guess it's time to try out the other endings. So what's really cool is that, for example, the Austin Lee magazine, that's a supporter of the game, and the Cup Ramen uh, label and the Carrot Juice label. So some supporters actually appear in the game as brands. That's pretty awesome. It really works well with the store setting where there's a store. Okay, so I didn't give a homeless person food this time, and I tried exploring the village, but there's nothing, nothing there. But look at this. The guy comes in, and there's nothing here. This is the second night. There's nothing here. This is a nice mystery. So he's on, he's in on this. Good to see you again. Oh, you know. Yada, 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 something ordering. So suddenly the package appears out of nowhere. I didn't even notice the first time around. So he's in on this, right? He is somehow involved. And my manager is sending me the videos because he wants me to be haunted instead of him. So he watched the video for some reason and that killed him. So now we're gonna try out something else. I'm gonna just send it somewhere else. And I can also not not watch these videos. So I really enjoy how this game is more subtle, but check it out. The manager, his head follows me. So creepy. I love it. So there's not any more extreme loudness as a method to scare a player in this game. But there's also no more enemy. There's nobody trying to uh, haunt me and attack me. This is very different from our previous titles. And I'm, I'm very glad that it is like that. So I wonder, who is she? What is her role? Is she trying to help me find my manager? Or is she the one who murdered my manager? Is my manager the evil guy because he makes me watch these uh, tapes? I'm assuming the tapes are from him. But if he's dead, which I assume he is, then where did this one come from? Is it the delivery man? So we have the option to watch it again, no thanks. Or can we just leave the house perhaps? Hey, we can take the flashlight, I wonder why. Hey, can, I, can we take the tape and leave the house? No, I didn't think so. So instead we have to either throw it into the trash bin or mail it to somebody else. Let's just throw it away. Yes, I'm sure. And there it will be in my trash bin for all eternity. Recycling! Oh, nope, same ending. Watch it, trash it. You can't run away from this destiny that way. Oh, and there it is. Smashing. All right, so let's not trash it. Let's not watch it. Let's send it away. Send it off to someone else? Yes. Are you sure? Oh, yes. And here we have it, the good ending. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. This is completely different from sending it to somebody else. The sender, completely different. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Good, because we know what happens when you sleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. Oh, the internet. Where truth is at home. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, 
There seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured into her along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from these obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied on the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hosso, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hosso said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. This, this English. After quitting I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store I would, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so as to not look at the building. A day later the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management but further details were not publicized. At that point I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. Dot dot dot. But that's it. There's no more scene. Why? So it was probably the wife and her child? Why are they mad at me? Why did they kill the manager? Why was the manager sending me the tapes? It all makes no sense. But that's fine. It was a nice and creepy story. Oh well. So the ending seemed lazy or hasty compared to the quality of the endings of the previous titles which had very nice graphics at least. But uh, the game was a very nice change of pace from the other horror games I made. No more running away from an annoying creature that's just way too loud. Instead it's mostly just in your head. So I quite enjoyed it and I look forward to the next title of that team. Check out my other videos of their games. Usually I play with a unique little spin like modding it a little. Hope you enjoy them. Apart from that, see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!